Hi everybody, Ma here again. Just wanted to do a video tutorial on how do you find your ideal customer and how do you communicate with your actual niche. If you don't know what your niche is, it's a group of people that are your ideal customers. Social media is such a huge platform and if you're just putting content out there for the sake of putting content and you're not pitching it towards your ideal customer, it just is a waste of time. So I've constructed a blog about niching down to blow, to blow up and find your actual ideal customer to talk to. So who is your ideal customer? Identifying your audience is the most important understanding that any business can have. If you don't know who you're selling to or what they need, how do you know to come up with a solution or product that's actually going to convert into sales? So just to give you a little bit of an example, I am a, a graphic and web designer, so I help people become presented online. So I design content around marketing, advertising, web design, web development, blogs, how to create content. Uh, this video, for instance, I am sharing with you the knowledge that I have. If you are a fashion designer, you might be creating content about how to mix and match different garments of your label together. You might be talking about different season collections and how the different fabrics feel and how to actually style for a perfect night out. You're providing your audience with knowledge, giving them the ability to make the decision on their own to purchase the product for themselves. So you're creating content for your niche. If you're unsure, about how to actually find your niche, of course you need to be doing some research. Now, the internet is full of it, especially Google. Jump on and look at your competitors is the best way to go about it. Look at what content they are creating and how they are pitching to their ideal customers. Look at their stores, look at their blogs, look at their Instagram, their Pinterest, their LinkedIn, and their Facebook accounts. So don't copy it, but mimic it to suit you. Add your own signature and your own flair to the content that you're actually going to be producing. Find your voice. Okay. Now, it's so easy to just scream and be like, hey, look, I have a sale. Everybody come and buy my product. But if you're not giving your audience a reason to buy your product, then it's just going to appear salesy and annoying and that you're pitching over and over again. And you're actually going to be pushing away your ideal customer. You want to provide a solution, okay? So provide a solution and or you want to create a problem for your ideal customer and then you have the solution to hand them on a platter. You want to focus. Now, just as I said earlier, it's so important to niche down to blow up. Now, one of my girlfriends actually told me this a wee while ago, and it's 100% true. You're rather off to have two or three decent customers that are significant to your brand than have 100 people know who you are but not actually buy. So you want to go down rather than go wide. Focus on who you're trying to serve. For me, it's small businesses, so I wouldn't be dealing with medium to corporate enterprises. I deal with creative businesses um, and create portfolios and logos, so I wouldn't be dealing with insurance brokers or e-commerce um, e stores selling hardware because it's not within my niche that is going too wide, so I focus in the middle on what I'm actually good at and who I want to target. Create content for your targeted audience. So you want to create stuff that is appealing, okay, that you're actually pitching and selling and providing to your audience. Now, there are so many different softwares out there that you can actually use. One of the greatest free software tools that I can recommend is Canva. You can create Facebook posts, Facebook stories, um, slideshows, anything that you want for any social media platform. You can even customize measurements to your LinkedIn, your web banners, and you can actually look through the templates of examples and you can copy and mimic and change colors. Now, I would recommend not using the exact template that they actually have. I would add your own flair to it. Really start playing around with your brand. Find out what your colors are, what your fonts are, what images that you actually have that are original to you or what stock images you have and play around with it and actually create content that's going to drive sales. At the end of the day, the reason why we should have social media is we're driving all of this traffic 
to a website. That's why there's so many different platforms. That's why there's Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, LinkedIn, Pinterest, YouTube, Twitter. They all have different niches that they work in and they are all designed to communicate differently. Instagram's pretty. It's all about pictures. Snapchat is about being fast and having um, a videos that are on time lapses. Twitter is short captions. LinkedIn is business orientated. YouTube is video orientated. But the point is you're creating different content to direct to a website. So you want to keep your branding on all of those platforms the same. Hopefully this blog um, and this video has shared a little bit of insight about how you can find your targeted audience. I will post a link in the description so you can review the blog for yourself. And if you have any questions, just send them on over.